Hello again my friends, it's time for your regular dose of Destiny news, so sit back and let Papa Console fill you in. First up, Bungie is changing the way you'll earn Crucible loot from Lord Shaxx. When Rise of Iron launches September 20th, good old Shaxy Poo will no longer hand out True Meaning of War bounties. These bounties are being completely removed from the game, and they're being replaced by a new way to earn reputation and end game rewards. I guess we'll just have to wait and see what Bungie has in store for us. Now, I gotta say, I'll be sad to see the True Meaning of War bounty go. It was a great incentive to hop in the Crucible and potentially earn max light level armor, including exotics. And you guys really seem to enjoy the loot videos in which I open these bounties. Q idiotic catchphrase. Loot. Sweet. Precious. Loot. So yeah, I hope Bungie replaces the true meaning of war bounty with something that's just as rewarding to grind for. Now, what happens if, like me, you have a completed true meaning of war bounty saved up just like this one? Well, it will still be there September 20th, so I've decided to hold on to mine until the launch of Rise of Iron, just in case it rewards me with year 3 loot. It's worth a try, I guess. Next up, another brief glimpse at Rise of Iron's gorgeous Siva infused exotic pulse rifle. Now, we still don't know what this weapon's name is or how you actually get it, but Bungie has teased it twice now and each time we see this weapon's insane perk in action. Virulence. Precision kills release a Siva Nanite Swarm that attacks other enemies. Basically, if you pull off a headshot with this thing, it sends out heat-seeking projectiles that damage nearby enemies. It also has the Outlaw perk, so every headshot dramatically increases reload speed. Now, of all the weapons I've seen so far, this exotic pulse rifle is the one I'm most keen to get my hands on. It looks set to be a PvE beast. Next up, there were rumours circulating in the community that the tower would be closed on launch day. Deej quickly quashed the rumour by saying the tower will not be closed at launch of Rise of Iron. You gain a social space, you do not lose one. Next up, some players have received this message when logging on to Destiny. It reads, Rise of Iron begins September 20th. In old Russia, the wall is breached. Lord Saladin's nightmares have come alive to haunt the plague lands, light the fires of the Iron Lords and cleanse the land. Let's fucking go. So then, hands up, who's pre-ordered Rise of Iron? Now, believe it or not, I've only just got round to doing it myself. Now, if you do pre-order, you get some pre-order bonuses that you see on the right. You get the Iron Galahorn Sparrow, and you get the Iron Galahorn Rocket Launcher. PlayStation 4 players get some exclusive content. You get a new quest line, a new PvP multiplayer map, and an exclusive ship. Now, if I go to my pre-order page and go to this particular tab here, it gives you a little countdown timer as to exactly when this game is going to launch. One day, 16 hours, 18 minutes, and two one fucking seconds. Now, if you want to play this game as soon as it does go live, you can do that at 2 a.m. Pacific time or 10 a.m. UK time. So set your alarm for those times and you can get grinding straight away. Now, you may be wondering to yourself, yo, more console. How are you going to spend your time from now until the game launches? I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to be sitting here staring at this fucking screen until it reaches zero. So I've only got one day, 16 hours and 17 minutes and 33, 32, 30. You get the fucking idea. I'll be staring at this screen all day. Fucking kill me. And guys, if you want to learn about the new way in which you can earn strike specific loot in Rise of Iron, click this image or follow the link that you'll find in the description box below. I talk about skeleton keys and hall chests. Basically, everything you need to know about this new mechanic for earning strike-specific loot. Definitely worth a watch if you haven't already done so. Now, guys... Like I said earlier, we're almost there. We've only got like a day and a little bit to go now until Rise of Iron launches. Now, obviously, I'm going to keep my coverage going for the Destiny news and for loot videos and just basically everything you need to know about Destiny from here until the launch day and beyond, I'll have you covered. And don't forget, we've got an event coming in October as well, Festival of the Lost, and we've got a big winter update in December, Sparrow Racing League. So there's so much more to go. There's so much more content to look forward to. I've got some really, really cool stuff lined up for you as well so if you don't want to miss out subscribe and turn on notifications and before I go actually I just wanted to say a huge heartfelt thank you for the insane and I know everyone uses the word insane too much but truly insane support that you've shown this channel recently videos are blowing up so many subscribers are coming in if you're a new subscriber hello welcome join us and yeah, seriously, thank you so much for the support. It's been pretty damn intense, I've got to say. It's, it's been insane. So thank you so much for that. And we'll end the video in the usual way. Thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe for daily Destiny content. And thank you so much for watching, you truly beautiful bastards. And as always, until next time, Guardian.